Following his recent defense of Young Thug, Meek Mill has been called a hypocrite by some, citing remarks he made during his spat with Drake. Meek claimed that his lyrics shouldn't be utilized as evidence in a court of law during the YSL rapper's ongoing RICO trial. He supported his claim by pointing out that lyric sharing occurs frequently amongst artists in the studio. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. It should be impossible to charge Thug and Lucci for lyrics because in the studio we all give each other lines and don't remember who said what after a high night in the studio I have done it with both of them they both gave me lyrics before we all do this. Meek wrote. In response, fans complained about him accusing Drake of needing ghostwriters. Wait, but you threw a fit about this when Drake did it. One fan replied. Another wrote, Law you'll sick accused Drake for using a ghostwriter. While going back and forth with the Toronto rap in 2015, Meek tweeted, Stop comparing Drake to me too he don't write his own raps. That's why he ain't tweet my album because we found out. The whole game no for real they scared to tell the truth. I can't wait talk these guys and sit back and act like they don't know. The two have long since made amends. Judge Euro Glanville postponed Young Thug's trial on Tuesday following the weekend stabbing of one of his co-defendants in custody. On January 2, 2024, the trial will recommence, as stated by Megan Cuniff. In defense of Young Thug, Fat Joe asserted that the rapper has lied in 95% of the tracks he has put out over his career. Rico lawsuit involving Young Thug and YSL is undoubtedly a hot topic in the criminal and hip-hop communities. Regarding the final point, though, given that the court will accept rap lyrics as evidence, many MCs are worried about the precedent this case may make. Furthermore, the argument here is about whether or not these creative representations are real, particularly in a field where artists are compensated for being more absurd, hard, and real in the streets than their predecessors. Rapper Fat Joe, a legend in the genre, recently spoke with Gail King on CNN how much he and other rappers lie in their songs and why this is an absurd conclusion to draw for the legal system. I've been rapping professionally for 30 years. Fat Joe began. I've lied in almost 95% of my songs. <laughs> I'm being honest. I write like I feel that day. I'm just being creative. He couldn't build a jail high enough for the lyrics I've said on songs, which are all untrue. What I am is a family man, a person who gives back to my community. Opens businesses in my community. So the music would never amount to the actual person. Joseph Cartagena, Fat Joe added. What's even more horrible, district attorneys, they know those lyrics ain't real. But if it helps their case, they'll use it to put these guys in jail. And here, we're having a fun show about it in discussion. But there really is six defendants in Atlanta who might spend the rest of their lives in jail for something that's totally not true. Very serious. This destroys families. This, this case right here is setting such a precedent in America, he concluded on a summer note. I've used this before an up-and-coming aspiring artist. Never took a guy off the stage in the arena. You know, a number one artist that my daughter and all the kids look up to and say, no, you going on trial for this. And uh, it's nasty work. It's real nasty work. It has been an incredibly long wait for the YSL RICO trial to start. But now that Young Thug and his co-defendants are in court, we are barely able to keep up with the updates as they become available. Welcome back it's your host Nancy Brown. If you are new here make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. On Monday, November 27th, the hitmaker So Much Fun and his legal team filed a motion for a mistrial, but their request was eventually dismissed. The day before Singer is accustomed to situations like this, during the previous 500 plus days, all of his bond petitions have been denied, with the reason given being that he poses a severe risk of flight due to the allegations against him. He would be truly humble under God. Thugger, fortunately, has managed to maintain his optimism despite everything. He appears to have gained more weight while incarcerated, and some people speculate this may be because he was able to detoxify from alcohol and narcotics. Brian Steele is representing the producer and lyricist in court, and on Tuesday, November 28th, we heard the lawyer's opening remarks. They were persuasive, if a little comical. Jeffrey is talented. It's called pushing P, and it's positivity. As the prosecution presents the 32-year-old's portrait as a violent, deadly gang member, Steele maintains that his client is protected by holiness. Truly humble under God, that's what thug means, the celebrity lawyer said in Georgia court this morning. The internet is happy to see things off to such a strong start for Jeffrey Williams and remains hopeful that he'll walk away from this experience a better man. Our bloods, right? Like Lil Wayne, you, Amber Man? He asks in a casual manner. After a moment of silence, the multi-talent responds in confusion. A blood? Yeah. Blood. As if he couldn't understand the connection between him and the notorious gang. That's what y'all say on the song! That is... Yeah. The investigator reminds Thugger. Of course, one of the most contentious components of this trial is the use of song lyrics as evidence. To the authorities, the OU went singer hasn't been heard from directly this year, so hearing him speak especially with such positivity is welcome. 
Further disclosures won't be shocking if the trial eventually proceeds. We'll be sure to update you on any developments that arise. Mariah the scientist claims that Young Thug has a significant incentive waiting for him when he is released from prison. Yeah, but I do definitely, I feel like he definitely wants to be married and I feel like I do too. The R&B singer claims that she and her partner adore talking about their intentions to get married after he, hopefully, wins his YSL Rico accusation. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.